In this tutorial, we'll explore a free AI-driven video generator which you can use unlimitedly for creating hyper-realistic HD videos or Ghibli-style anime scenes using only text prompts. So if you are tired waiting for Sora AI but would like to experience something similar at no cost, then Hyper AI is for you. We'll get hands-on covering various styles and tips while using it. And in case you're wondering, it can generate Will Smith eating spaghetti as well. So let's dive into Hyper.ai and click try for free to create an account. Here we can see all the community creations. So we may copy the text prompt used to create this output by clicking one. Now let's click on this video icon on the sidebar and by default you will be directed to this space where we'll put in a text description describing the video we want, also specifying the style and quality. If you click the eye here, you have an option to keep it public or private as well. Then click on create and in a few seconds it generates this video catering to the details specified in the prompt. Let's generate one of a pretty girl floating in a pond of flowers with the same styling but adding some shining sunlight and camera quality. Don't worry if you're unfamiliar with this, I've provided a prompt template for you to use down below. The detailing is amazing. Let's download this. He is one of a man as well having great hair quality, but these videos are only 2 seconds long. In our next prompt, we'll click on this slider and switch to 4 seconds, then click create, which gives a great result here of these cowgirls battling in slow motion. But in some cases, the consistency might suffer a bit or become slower compared to the 2 second video for realistically styled videos. We also notice that the output picks up tiny details nicely like in this example where I've added the detail back in the prompt. Now let's try and alter the styling. After filling your prompt description, you'll see various categories pop up. They are all style presets that can be applied to the input. Let's go for the Ghibli style animation and we see it wonderfully resembles the anime style. But what if we want to extend this video? Here's where image to video comes handy. Simply download this video and go to the website given in the description to choose the file and upload it here. Scroll down and set frame rate to 5. Then click convert to PNG. Now you can scroll down to download the last image to your computer. Let's go back to Hyper and click here to select Animate Your Image HD and this is where the Upload button pops up where I'll drop the downloaded PNG and describe the action I want in the simplest manner of an arrow getting fired then click Create. Cool, let's join both the videos to get this sequence. Here's another example of a ninja dodging a fireball in the same style. Comparing the 2 second and 4 second video here, the 2 second video is more consistent but delivers not a lot of movement. 4 second is accurate to the prompt containing more movement but may tamper with the consistency. We'll now be repainting a video to an alternate style. So I generated this cyborg under the ocean opening a chest and you'll notice a paintbrush here. We'll click on it and now we can describe any style or select one from the existing style presets. I'll choose steampunk and click create to get this converted cool steampunk vibe. You can also select the repaint from here and choose to upload your own video to be repainted like this. Let's select the lego style and accompany it with a small description of the scene. Beautiful. You can also get Pixar style in text to video. But let's use it now to create a movie scene with consistent styling and characters. I'll start off the first scene describing my character with physical features like blonde hair wearing a space suit in a forest environment. Great. Now I want the next video to have the same styling and character. So if you observe the small arrow beside the prompt and click on it, we can view and copy the seed number from here. Now let's click this slider and paste the number under seed and we'll use the same details used in the previous prompt for character consistency. We can see it generates the video with the same styling and consistency as the previous video every time. After I'm done generating the sequences, let's download them and you can now combine them with sound effects to get this. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and hit subscribe for more tools and tutorials. See you guys in the next video.